Hello all, today in this video I am going to work with SGD CNN algorithm with the previous uh, con as a continuation of previous video only uh, that is uh, within the previous video for the drop if you have followed the previous video means for the previous video the for the layer description we have made we got the better training accuracy and validation accuracy for the dropout ratio per ratio 0.1 and for that as a continuation of that only we have worked with different optimizer that is in this uh, video we are have, have going to make a demo with the sgd optimizer and going to make a comparison with adam that which optimizer is providing better results uh, so obviously Adam will provide better results but we can just see it through demo. For that initially we are importing the libraries which we are needed and then we are loading the data set. This data set we downloaded from Kaggle. You can just give us hard disease data set Kaggle means you will just get this data set. Uh, then the data set which is downloaded from Kaggle is having nearly 14 entries. Among that the first 13 entries we will be using as the X variable and the last entry that is the target one we will be using as the y variable uh, then we are getting the info of the data set from the info of the data set we can get to know that uh, the sole peak is the only one which is the flow type and all others are integers and then we are describing our data set and then we are checking whether our data set is having any null entries why because if our data set is having any null entries means we have to work with pre-processing then we are displaying the heat map of the data set so this is the heat map of the hard disease data set then we are declaring the x variable and y variable for the x variable as i said previously we are dot, uh, dropping the target variable and all other variables apart from target serves as x variable and the y variable for we are choosing only the target variable and then by using this x variable and y variable and by the use of train test split function and with the test size of 0.2 that is 20 percent for testing and remaining 80 percent for training we are working with the determination of variables like x train, x test, y train and y test and then we have used the standard scalar to convert this vectors then uh, uh, this bears a scalar standard scalar function will works with x train and x test variable then we are getting the shape of the x train variable and also the y train variable why because this convolution neural network will take the three dimensional input only so for that we have to convert this data into three dimensional and we are before converting we are checking whether our data is a three dimensional one or not since our data is not three dimensional one we are converting it into three dimensional by using the reshape function and then we are just declaring the uh, layer composition for the convolution neural network model the convolution neural network model consists of convolution 1d layer then max pooling 1d layer within the convolution 1d layer we are declaring the kernel size filter size padding uh, same uh, activation as ReLU and input shape uh, which is uh, this 113,1 then the max pooling layer we are determining with the pool size of 2 then comes the flatten layer then comes the dense layer with the output dimension as 128 and activation as ReLU then comes the dropout layer uh, with the activation uh, dropout rate of 0.5 so this is the one which we have previously worked and then we worked with a uh, dropout rate of 0.1 so so the final dense layer will have the output dimension as one why because our work is a binary classification work having two classes and if you are working with multi-class classification work means in that case the number of classes will be replaced by the output dimension. For example, if it is a three class work means the output dimension will remain as three and the activation uh, for binary classification we will give mostly a sigmoid only. For multi class classification it differs. Then we are just fitting training our model by using the fit function. Uh, within that we are just making the optimizers as Adam uh, in the first one. Then we are using the variables like X train, Y train, validation data and approaches for nearly 15 approaches our model is training. And uh, you can notice that when comparing to accuracy, validation accuracy is less worldly. For a better model, when compared to validation accuracy, this accuracy should be low. Validation accuracy should be only high. So only we move to some better model which is making uh, some 
some improvements in the algorithm so the, this is the code which we have made for it and then uh, this is the classification report displaying the values like precision recall f1 score and support then the confusion matrix plot we have defined and then plotted a confusion matrix and then to improve the accuracy uh, the only thing we have done is we have just decreased the dropout rate as point one and now all others are same only like adam and uh, then uh, approaches are same only only the dropout rate we have reduced now we can notice that when comparing to accuracy validation accuracy is high only not only this we, uh, i just mentioned in the previous video that what are the parameters we have to consider to make some decrements and increments in this validation accuracy and accuracy uh, then we are getting the precision recall and f1 score values and all and for this also we have plotted a confusion matrix then uh, in this work we are working with sdd optimizer with the dropout as point only uh, uh, one only all others layer, layer contribution are same only the only change is the sdd so this also works for nearly 50 approaches here you can notice that and comparing to this uh, accuracy this validation accuracy is high only but when comparing to adam optimizer also we are displaying the precision recall f1 square for s optimizer also previously with adam optimizer we have got nearly uh, that is rate of 0.1 we got nearly 100% accuracy but for this we got nearly 85% accuracy only so for this we have displayed the confusion matrix and we have made a comparison chart uh, with the uh, accuracy validation accuracy loss and validation loss uh, by this you can notice that adam is the one having better one and sgd is showing very less accuracy when compared to this adam uh, likewise uh, for loss also so in the next video we will be working with some other uh, optimizers thank you